Since I missed it last time, people, and you pointed it out, let's take a look at this good old-fashioned fresco. So first you must clean said fresco, and then you must look at the fresco, but how to preserve it. We already know the answer to that. Let's stop being silly. What do you got for us? Okay. Blue flames in hand. See? Don't you see? That clearly really didn't help us at all. Anyway, now back to your now back to your regularly scheduled talk through. Alright. I've raised everyone up to level 19 out of a possible 20. Uh, you don't need to go this high. I, I, I was at 16. That was probably more than enough to get through the finish. I just wanted to make sure I wouldn't need a bunch of tonics and things. Anyway, we're going to start out with Taro and Asuka. And they're going to go up here, and immediately we're going to hide. And then we're going to break it up. So Taro is the one who's going to do some running for it. Ooh, that was close. You'll see why we're doing this in a second. Oh, goodness gracious me. Rick, um, that was dumb. Switch to party, and then you'll switch back to Asuka, who's hiding over here. And Asuka's just going to hang out and draw all of these spirits who are on the hunt for people. And they're just going to rotate around where Asuka's hiding, which will then allow Taro to move onwards to here. And this area I'm going to is optional. It has no purpose other than to see this. It's one of your doppelgangers. The only enemies in this room are doppelgangers, and you only have to beat three of them to get to uh, Lady Mamiya. Or Mamiya, however you want to say it. Anyway, I am choosing to take on the optional ones just to show you where they are, but it is completely unnecessary and honestly a little risky, so I wouldn't do it normally, but I'm just showing you what they look like and all that. And also, when you're on a call, you cannot be picked off by those spirits. So that's pretty awesome. I'm sure Akiko's glad they got there just in time to get attacked, honestly. Oh wow, poor Akiko, taking a bit of a pounding from Emmy. It's a little violent. Alright, quickly, switch to... T Sorry, switch to Asuka, who's hiding under the bridge. And... You just hang out here and wait till say all five are there. So we'll switch back to Taro now, and Taro's gonna run, and it's gonna take a while to get there, but that's okay. All right, and then back. She so you can switch to Caswell. That's fine. All right, and now we've done that. Taro can run a little bit. Oh, this could be bad. Run. Run, run, run. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Here's the other optional uh, ganger. The way you know you're on the right path, by the way, and this is Kazuo, the, no, when you, the only way to know you're on the right path is that uh, you'll, be, you'll see message boxes popping up periodically. And we'll begin to that in a moment, because we'll have done the two optionals. And then after that, we'll be ready to rock and roll and move on towards the end. Oh, it's going to take a bit to get them over here, but that's okay. Call those silly billies and help yourself. I probably shouldn't have kept him blocked in, honestly, but, you know, live and learn. All right, Caswell, let's see if they can murderize you in one round of attacks. Probably not, but we'll see. All right, we did it one round. Cool. Um, party, Caswell. Okay, party, Asuka. Asuka, you're going to go this way. And here's those messages I was talking about. If she shouts, use your tool. I mean, the tool. Pfft, who was that? I don't know. Some, some lame-o, I guess. All right. Kiko, get a move on. And where are the spirits? There they are. <laughs> they do like to come in a big bunch, don't they? Hey, look at that one lonely spirit. He was kind of hanging back. He's waiting for a chance to do something evil. Uh, Taro, you want to maybe uh, come join the fun? You probably do. Okay, <laughs> again. Back to Asuka. Some of them really get lost, it seems. Like, my goodness, those guys were, like, really off in the freaking land of laws. Taro, back to single dodge in here. Alright. Kazuo? Uh, friggin' hell. Okay, I screwed this up. That's okay. We just need to pull the heat off of, um, for a second. Wait, where's the fifth one? I can't see it. There it is. So back to Kazuo. We'll get him in cover now. Oh, crap. Taro can still be picked off because he's on screen. That's okay, though. That's fine. That'll just show you what happens here. So we'll go to Taro. It's not a big deal. 
because you're right out here. And then you just got to wander your way back in here and start the running all over again. So it's not like you, you get punished really badly. Alright, fine. So let's... No. We want a Suka. Darn it. Alright, Suka, you got to draw some people. The photo recalls reality. That voice is indeed familiar. Alright, uh, Taro, we need you to go, buddy. Oh, good lord, that's not cool at all, game. Who was that indeed? Whoa, crap, Kazuo, please tell me I'm off the screen. Okay, good. This is good, we still have a party that's attracting those guys, and that's what we want. Where's the fifth one? Okay, the fifth one must be covered, it must be a double thing going on. Double whammy of di whammy dam, so... The photo indeed does recall reality like goodness. And you guys are gonna team up. And we're gonna step up here and get a battle. Now we're gonna keep Kazuo out of this? Oh, yeah, we'll keep Kazuo out. We're just gonna let these two take care of, uh, take care of poor old, uh, Akiko. Now here's the thing. So we'll switch back to Kazuo. The reason we did that was that the last two were right near the end of the area, so we're going to really get all the spirits as far away as we can here, and then we're going to be ready to roll. Alright, uh, Taro, you're up. Go. The diary reveals the heart. Oh, it's Yamamura. That's who's telling us all about the goings-on here. Alright, here's the fourth doppelganger. What do you got for me? Must be Taro. It's Taro. Hey, how's it going? You're going to call him, and just to be safe, you're also going to call him. This means... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now something about the photo, maybe? Yeah. Alright, what's next, then? Well, something about the diary. Well, fan freaking tire stick. I almost could have got there in one, but that's good, I was right. Okay. So now that everyone's here, we can take them out. Maybe one turn, maybe not a one turn. But all you want to know is, as soon as the net, uh, you're done this battle, hold up and run. Because that'll get you to the next battle before those spirits can do anything wrong to you. And the last one is Asuka. No dogs allowed. You know how it goes. And Kazuo, up here, perfect. We're in really good shape here now. We've got it set up real nice. Worked pretty good. Pretty darn good. Alright, you've got a key. Who's got a tonic? Because you've got a tonic. We're going to use a tonic right now just to get everyone's life who's been draining a little bit up. That's probably the last tonic we'll need, honestly. Ah, a level up for Taro. Good for Taro. Hey, Taro, run. Fight with courage. And it's time for the lady. And there she is in all her awful glory. Eesh. She ugly. U-G-L-Y. She ain't got no freaking alibi. That is for sure. So, we'll call in the other party. In the meantime, we're just going to attack. And we're now watching for her to say something. Oh, and by the way, your people are going to yell stuff at her throughout the battle like the child is dead and such things. See? I will kill you all die. This is the first thing you need to pay attention for. And now we need to use... Oh, let's see if I remember where it is. Kazuo? No. I don't remember who has what. Uh, it's fine. Attack. And therefore, by process of elimination, you've got the tool. You start with the tool. Go to your rest. And the child is dead. I love how they're just yelling at this poor, haunted spirit. Your child is dead! Your child is dead! It's dead! Anyway, using the tool does that. And now... You can go away, be gone from here. So now that she said that, we can now use the second item, which is the photo, and I don't remember who has it. Of course I don't remember who has it. Perfect. You've got the photo, then you can attack. All right, and now we just let the attacks happen, and the photo gets used. And look, you were alive 30 years ago. Now you're dead. <laughs> awesome. Your life has long been over. I love how mean they are. They're mean to her. I know she's screwed up and everything, but damn. Damn. They're being 
harsh. This this is like Comedy Central roast harsh, I think. But anyway, now that she said wah, it's time to do some praying. If you try to pray before this point, oh, I'm gonna do one more just in case that one wasn't enough damage. Uh, if you don't, or if you try to pray before, it'll say not now. Like I can't be bothered, so you don't leave it at certain points. Um, oh dear God, bring back. Bring back the old lady. Bring back the old lady. Oh my. So now we are watching out for her to say... What is she going to say for this one? I believe it's about her husband. Let's see if she says it this round. Yes, there it is. Ishiro loves m me. Aww. That's so sad. However, it's also what we need to hear so we can use the diary on her. And those guys will attack. And let's see what harsh, horrible things they say. You're making Ichiru suffer as well. So now they're guilting her as well. Nice. And now... She'll say, oh! And that's your sign to do another prayer. So, Taro, lead us in, old priest man. And then these guys are just going to attack. He'll pray. And that white flash means you've done it successfully, of course. In case you haven't figured that out yet. Oh my. How many must die indeed. G -g 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 die! That doesn't mean anything to us, though. What we're looking for is mention of a baby at this point. Because that's the only thing she hasn't really talked about yet. From this story. I'm not sure why that flashed like that, but okay. And my baby. So there we go. So now for the harshest item of all. We are taking the baby's coffin and we're going to wave it in her face. Like right in her grill. And she's going to go, you're a jerk. Does that not work? Maybe that, that, thou, that's the one. It's my, my, my baby. That's what we had to do. That's confusing. I think that got me before. It's it's where she stutters a bit. What? Maybe it did work and I just skipped over the message. I thought there was a special message with it. Other than your child is dead. Alright. How about we try praying then? Okay, so that's it. Then it did work. It just didn't give a conversation piece. What? The hell did I just do? Apparently I've screwed this up royally. Huh. Well, that's... That's disappointing. So, thanks to me, you guess using the diary twice? Man, I'm now very confused. What did I do? Huh. Can you use the coffin this time? Alright. Go to your rest. Alright, fair enough. I guess the prayer wasn't strong enough? That must be it. I guess the prayer wasn't strong enough. And like I said, we should be safe in doing numerous prayers. So let's have everybody pray. What the hell? Everyone can do go to church together here. Perfect. And there we go. She's down. So I just screwed up and didn't get enough prayer points. That's all. Okay, good. I was worried for a second. Hooray! Sweet! So that means we have a mansion to ourselves full of nice frescoes. And there she goes. It is really kind of sad for her, you know? Man, there's no roof in this place? But there... I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you know, like, dude. Aw, I remember that. He got bellogged pretty good. That is such a Japanese thing. How sad, yet noble. Why would he feel guilty? Unless, of course, he was Ichiru. Why would he lie? I have no idea. Love this music, by the way. So haunting. So now we get them marching out of the mansion, 
with a bit of a credit roll. And that is Sweet Home, boys and girls. It is a great game. Not necessarily a hard game when you know what you're doing, but it's, yeah, Fishman, yes, Capcom, represent, but uh, it's just one of those games that's worth playing because it has a good story, good music, good atmosphere, and I really like the uniqueness of each character having a special skill and replacing them if they ever die. And yes, your characters can die. I had a pretty good run this time, a lot of luck. I didn't get people separated a lot, but sometimes you just don't get that lucky. Especially early on. Early on can be just brutal to deal with. And we're just going to wander our way out. And the servant, I, I guess this is a servant. He's going to show us the door. Oh, Capcom. I wish this game would have come, uh, come to North America. And, yeah, the servant stays behind to make sure that nothing happens to the mansion. <laughs> Love the music just cutting out there. And like any NES game, the thing crumbles into dust afterwards. And the servant dies horribly. Hooray! I love when everything is well. It's fan freaking tastic. They all seem pretty content with themselves, that is for sure. Comments? Oh no! No! No!